Hi everyone, I uh, hope you are enjoying this series on problem solving and the problem that we are going to discuss today is Piyush and Magical Park. So in this problem you are given, uh, there is a Magical Park which is a uh, 2D grid and it contains N rows and M columns and we are given some other information. So in order to get out of the park and return home, so he needs at least k amount of strength so you are given a n cross m pattern your task is to find whether Piyush can escape the park or not and there is an initial strength of s and there are some special uh, characters which denote obstacles so there is an obstacle uh, like this which is a dot and there can be a star and there can be a hash as you can see in this figure okay so you are given a grid like this and this can contain either a dot or it, it can contain uh, okay so it can contain a dot so dot is there hash is there and star is there and it is also given in the question if you encounter a dot the strength whatever is the strength Piyush has this will reduce by amount of 2 hash means uh, this is blocked and star means uh, Piyush will gain a power of plus 5. Okay, so let's uh, go through this and see. So if obstacle is there, then the strength will decrease by 2. If a magic bean is there, that is a star. His strength will increase by 5. And Piyush can only walk row wise, which means we have to traverse from uh, left to right for every row. And whenever uh, a row is blocked, he cannot go further in the current row and he simply jumps to the start of new line without losing any strength. Okay, so which means if the row is blocked, then Piyush will move to the next line without losing any strength. So this is an important information and he requires the strength of one for every step. So this is also there for every step that is going to move his strength will reduce by a factor of one and the strength should be always greater than k while traversing otherwise Piyush will get lost okay and there is also one more thing given Piyush can shift immediately from the last of one row to the next one without loss of any strength okay so we have to help Piyush to find uh, how to escape the park and he's successful if he is able to come out of the park with at least k strength so i hope this problem statement is clear and I will show you one example now. So in the input, we are given four numbers N, M, K and S. So the first two numbers denote the size of the grid and the third number denotes uh, K that is the, the threshold strength. Okay, at least this much strength Piyush should have and S denotes the in initial strength. So for this case, the output is 13. So I will show you how this output is coming out to be 13. So let's uh, run it on one example and see. Okay, so this is the grid that is uh, given to me and initially he is standing at this particular point. So initial strength is 20. <coughs> okay, let's uh, dry run and see. So this initial strength is 20 and as he encounters a dot this strength will actually reduce and it will become 18 and as he goes to the next position this will become 17 and this will also reduce by a factor of 2 this will become 15 okay so dot is going to reduce strength by a factor of 2 and star is going to increase strength by a factor of 5 and hash means this is blocked okay and for every step that we move right, our strength reduces by a factor of 1, except at the end of the row. Okay, at the end of the row, we can switch to the next row without any uh, loss of strength, except at end of row. Okay, so we move here, and at this point, we will have a strength of. Uh, 14 because we will lose one point so we have 14 and we will gain five points so finally the strength will be 19 at this position 
and as we move again right we will lose strength so it will become 18 and we will also lose two more points because of dot so this strength will be finally 16 so at the end of the row we will jump to the new row so we come to this line and our strength will be now 16 okay and because of dot we will lose two points so this strength will be 14 we move one step this will be 13 and we will gain we will not gain anything and this is blocked okay so we basically come to the next row so in the next row we will start with the initial strength of 13 we get a star which will make our strength as 18 and we move one step this will make our strength as 17 and we will gain five more points okay so this will become 22 and we will lose one point because of this movement so it will be 21 and here we will lose two more so this will be 19 so we move one more step this will be 18 and we will lose two points here so this will be finally 16 so at the end of the third row it will be 16 and we come to the next row in the final row we start with uh, this thing 16 as the initial strength so we will lose two points here so at this position we will have a strength of 14 we move one step forward our strength will be 13 and since this is blocked we come out of the park and finally Piyush is out okay so from here we come out come out so Piyush is out of the park so we will print yes in this case because we are able to come out and at every point our strength should be greater than k okay so greater than equal to k so since k is 5 in this case and at all the locations this strength is greater than 5 so we will print yes and along with it we will print the final strength that is 13 so this is the answer for the given test case okay so i will classify this problem as easy problem okay and this is a good problem to test the fundamentals okay so fundamentals like the if condition else condition for and uh, for loop uh, break statement all those things you can practice well in this problem and it's an ad hoc problem okay so there are no major concepts involved it's just an ad hoc problem okay so let's write down the code for the problem and uh, try to submit it on hacker box okay <coughs> okay so i have already written the code for taking the input so this is the code for reading the input and i will just complete this function magical park and that is the main function okay so this function accepts the array it gets m and n which is the input size and we get k the threshold strength and the final uh, the initial strength s okay so let's say uh, there is a boolean variable called success that is true so it means uh, success is true means Piyush can uh, get out of the park okay so we need to keep a track so i'm assuming he can get out of the park but if this is not the case i will make this variable as false and then i'm going to iterate over the entire grid row by row so i have uh, row, m rows so i go to every row and then i go to every column in that row okay so let's see what is the current character so current character is array of uh, ij and we can check if the strength at the current position is less than k so which means we clearly know the answer is going to be false and we can just break the loop okay so success is false and we break the inner loop okay and okay so this is one check that i have to make and okay let's come to the <coughs> other case so if your character is a star okay so in your current row if you encounter a star that is going to increase your strength by a factor of five else if you can encounter a dot if it is a dot then your strength will reduce by a factor of two okay and then if you 
do not if you encounter a hash so else case that means you can um, okay in all other cases you can break okay so if this is a hash or if you are coming out of the inner loop okay so no so if it if this is a hash then you will just break it okay so this is what we are doing in the rows case so else we are breaking this and one more thing is we also lose uh one okay we also lose one point when we move right except for the last column okay because when you are uh, going from the last column to the next row you do not lose strength so if j is not equal to n minus 1 if j is not the last column you will always reduce the strength by a uh, factor of 1 okay so that's it and eventually if you come out of both the loops then in that case if you can see if uh, Piyush was successful you will print yes followed by endl and you will print the strength also so strength is s and else you can say see out no and you give handle here okay so let me show you what i have done here okay so let me just shrink it and let's try to run the code for a sample case so this is the entire code okay so i will just give you a quick uh, recap of what we have done so if strength is less than k so at every position you can check if strength is uh, greater than or uh, if strength becomes less than threshold strength then you cannot move out of the park you break the loop and breaking basically means you go to the next row and in that row you again okay so this is going to break the inner loop Okay, so you can actually do two things. Either you can uh, see out no here and you can say return. Otherwise, you can say, okay, strength is less than K here. You go to the next row. Strength is less than K. You go to the next row. Strength is less than K. You go to the next row and you come out of the park and you say, okay, see out no. Okay, this is what I am doing in this case. Otherwise, you could, you could also do this thing. This is also fine. And in all other cases, I'm checking if it is a star strength will increase by 5 if it is a dot strength will reduce by 2 otherwise we are going to break so otherwise means if you encounter hash you go to the next row and in all other cases when you are moving right except for the last uh, column you will also reduce the strength by amount of 1 so this is what we are doing here and let's try to run the code Okay, so let me test it locally first. And I need to copy the inputs from hacker blocks. So let me just copy the input. So this is the grid. So 44520 followed by the grid. So you can, you can see we are getting the uh, expected answer. So I'll just submit it now on HackerBox. So yeah, we got the correct answer and this is how we could solve this problem.